Hello, this is Rhett Elaine, and I'm going to show you some more Plotly stuff. Uh, so there was a, a Mashable article about the different price for online storage, and it had all this data in there, and I thought it would make a great graph. So I'm going to show you how to make that graph in Plotly. Uh, I've already entered in the data, uh, just because that would take uh, some time that you don't need to do. First, you need to go to Plotly, plotly.ly. Um, you can make an account if you want to save it. It's free. Do it. Okay, so what I did, the first thing to do was enter um, the name of the service, uh, the price it costs per year, and the data per year. Now, up here you can change this uh, name of the, the column if you want. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I, I definitely did that. Um, and then I have the, the price, and then I have the data. That's it. Okay. So, oops, sorry, my fault. Now what I want to do, I want to make a scatter plot, but I don't want all this in one set. I want these are different things, and I want to treat them differently. So I'm going to make them differently. First, I, I what you do is stop scrolling. Uh, you pick which thing you want to be as your X and Y or axis, uh, and you can do it lots of different ways. You can just cycle through this, turn that on and off. You can have both of them as Y, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, but blue means it's in the same group. Okay, and then you can make different kinds of graphs. I want uh, a, a scatter plot for now, just because that's what I do. Um, but now I want to do group by right over here. Group by, click that, and then you'll, it added another column here, G. So if I choose this as G, it's going to group this stuff by this stuff. And so these are all spelled the same, and it knows these all go together, these all go together, and so forth. So, I mean, that's it. That's it. I'm just going to click make scatter plot. And boom! There's your data. Okay, so first of all, I have these two data points over here that are huge. Box.net. If you, if you go back to the, uh, the data, box.net, it said unlimited for $180 a year. And so I put that as 10 terabytes. I mean, I don't know. That seems pretty a lot to me. And Google Drive also has uh, 10 terabytes for... I could probably just delete these. Let, let's just do that. Let's just uh, let's just delete this. Delete that. Not that it, it's not important, but just that it just I just don't want to deal with it. Okay. Now I'll go back over here. Uh, I think you can refresh this, but I'm just going to close that and click scatter plot. Okay. That looks a lot better. Um, I, I'm done. That's it. Now, I'm, I may want to do some things like up here. Let's do uh, traces. Let's do all of them. And let's do this kind of a graph, like that. And then, um, if you want, we can make them a little bit bigger, uh, a thicker line, and a bigger ball. I don't know. It just looks cooler. Okay. There, that's pretty good. Um, actually, you know, let me turn this off, because I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to just have the dots. Just the dots. Just the dots. OK, let's see if I close that. No? Oh, I know why. I just I didn't have it on all. I had it on iCloud. All. Just the dots. There we go. OK, now what I want to do is add a linear fit because, you know, is this linear? Uh, and you can't do it for each, each of all of them together. So I'll just do it one at a time. I want a linear fit, um, run this fit, and then add results to the annotation, and that gives me the slope. So uh, that's good. Let's do let's do a couple more. Um, add a trace fit to OneDrive, add a fit, uh, run, and add the results. Okay, one more. Oops, I turned that off. Add fit to Google Drive. I'm probably going too fast, but okay. So you can see here, but let's fix our graph. You can make things pretty and, and stuff if you want. But right here, I, I do need to add, uh, this is the data per year in gigabytes. And this is the price per year. in dollars. Oops. 
Okay, let me show you something uh, that I like to do, but I, I won't do it the whole way. Um, well, no, I won't do it at all. Okay, but let's, you can change, if you click this, you can change what this says. You can change it to P and D or whatever variables you want to call it, um, and, and so that's nice. But this is the data per year, and this is the price per year. Um, well, look at this. Google Drive has a negative a negative y intercept. Oh, that's just a fit. Okay, it actually doesn't have there. It, it is free to use. Uh, it should cost zero per year. Oh no, that's okay. I'm I'm thinking wrong. Yeah, it crosses over here at zero per year, and you still get no. At zero year, you should it should be a positive y intercept. But the way the fit works, it it makes it look like it goes below there. Okay. So, but what does this uh, value right here mean? The slope of this line. Well, this is the data per year per price. So this is the uh, gigabyte per dollar. That's what that is. This is how many gigabytes per dollar. Uh, you, maybe it might have made more sense to plot it the other way around and price per year versus data and then it would have given you the uh, dollar per gigabyte but you can get you can just take one over that and get that okay so now one other cool thing go over here to share and then I need to give it a name let's say uh, uh, data storage prices and make file public Okay, now I have a link, and if you just scroll over here, that's my username, and that's my that's a number, and you give anyone that link, and they can see this, and it looks essentially just like this, uh, and they can they can zoom in and out on the graph, they can uh, look at the data points, they can look at the data and everything, and they can make their own versions, they can color it and all that stuff. So, uh, oh, I, I should have given it a title, uh, online storage yearly prices okay so that's it there's your plotly graph maybe I'll make another one bye